everyone, it's Rainbow Dash here, and welcome back to yet another rant video. So, the Twitter drama just keeps rolling on fantastic. For days ago, I unleashed a full-on rant about how tonic the fandom has become lately, but guess what? It's gotten even worse. This time, it's a whole different issue. I'm sure you heard of a game called Sprint Key, right? The one where you drag and drop buttons onto adorable characters to make them play entrance. When I say adorable, I mean it take the dark twist the more you dive into that horror game after using the black hat. This game was created by a 15-year-old kid named Nyan Cody F. Lowell, or just Nyan Cope for short. It's a fan game inspired by the musical beatbox game, Incredibooks, and he built it all on scratch. And just like that, it exploded in popularity every on his planet Creek Craft, Flamingo, Fusion Z Gamer. It's such a hit. But if there's one thing I know about viral series or video games, like Poppy's Playtime, and the Go Park, or the amazing Digital Circus, it's that there are always people churning up brain dead slop about this. Seriously, Game Tunes, Bendy X Scarlet, Horn Stop Games, and that infuriating laggy box I laggy box, I can't stand that channel. They show up like some kind of annoying parasite, milking their terrible content as if it's the most normal thing in the world. It's frustrating to see how Sprunky has fallen prey to this nonsense. This is exactly why it has such a strong disdain for content farmers. They latch onto whatever trend is popular, exploit it, and rake in views without any regard for quality. It's just so pathetic how these creators operate. They take something that could be genuinely entertaining and turn it into a soulless cash grab. The worst part is that Nyan Ko, who put so much effort into his creation, is left heartbroken by what these hats have done. Instead of appreciating the original work, people are quick to point fingers at the game and the creator itself, blaming it for the garbage being churned out. It's maddening. How can anyone be so blind? Stop pointing fingers at the game, you coolest fucking idiots. It's Lanky Box and his brain dead crew that deserve the blame. But wait, just when you think it can't get any worse, it does. Some random user on Discord, let's call him Bad Parlo because his name is a sickening homage to a certain German dictator, decided to take advantage of all the outrage surrounding this game and not and co. Instead of just minding his own business, he hacked into his own Discord server and thought it would be a brilliant idea to broadcast a video for everyone to see. Seriously, what kind of Twizmine thinks that's acceptable? And let's not forget the absolute nightmare of getting your account hacked. It's bad enough that they leak everything, but then they went ahead and forced him to download a malicious file that compromised his entire PC. Who do these people think they are? They're nothing but a bunch of cowardly trolls hiding behind their screens, thinking they can ruin Simone's life just for kicks. It's infuriating to see how low some people will stoop. This is Cozy Cloud's territory, and people seriously think the real Parlol is behind all this cost and lay the blame on him when allegedly, he's got nothing to do with it. Come on, you all are not just clueless, but also completely blind. They hacked into his account and now they're off to raid different servers. And what do they do? They spam the fucking damn n-word, seriously. There are black folks on those servers who are gonna be furious about that. For crying out loud, they even trick him into believing he's done with Sprunky and instead, and I'm not joking, he's all about unsanctioned stuff now. What the actual fuck is wrong with this crew? And they also assert that they believe he was a 10 year old, just to get him kicked off Discord, violating the platform's terms of service. He even had the audacity to brag about it, uh? This pathetic loser is absolutely revolting, and he even tried to claim that Nyan Ko is some kind of cupcake lover. First of all, we are not going to relive that nonsense with Creek Crash drama again. Secondly, that's a total misrepresentation, and poor Nyan Ko was feeling so harassed by all this drama, he didn't do any of this shit. And so, he announced that he's holding all future updates regarding Sprunky and the game as whole, well, citing the need to take a break for his mental well-being. But hold on, the situation is about to get even messier. But Parlo has just dropped another video, revealing Nye and Ko's face and personal details. Seriously, that's what you call doxing, you idiots. You're not Sniper Wolf, if you know you know, and they actually have the nerve to fucking blackmail him, claiming he's the reason he's stepping away from the game. If he doesn't comply, they threaten to unleash a torrent of his private photos and personal information. It's absolutely pathetic. They're not even close to being as despicable as Diamond Tiara from that one season two episode. Blackmail is a cowardly act, and I can't stand this despicable individual who thinks he can get away with such low tactics. Just when you think this nightmare can't get any worse, it does. This person has crossed a line that should never be crossed. He didn't just stop at blackmail, he took it a step further into the depths of depravity. Leaking a photo of his family, that's beyond reprehensible. It's a blatant violation of trust and decency. How can anyone stoop so low? It's infuriating to witness such a complete lack of respect for another human being. And as if that washed enough, he had the godly god who had private conversations with his parents. What kind of monster does that? It's absolutely enraging to see someone so vile and heartless. 
This is not just a game anymore, it's a personal attack on Simone's life and dignity. And to make matter even fucking more worse than it already is, he made everything even more infuriating by trying to threaten him about going to deny and Co's house. If he doesn't cough up the $500, he's going to unleash a disaster on him. And guess what? On the same day, he hacked his account again, of uh, I can't believe this guy is such a low-life scumbag. Now he's trying to swat him, and to top it off, he's sending bots into the Discord servers just to irritate everyone there. What a pathetic loser. And to top off the shitty act of aggression, after that pathetic display of aggression, he's gearing up for round two against the Roblox YouTuber Flamingo, casually asking ready for round two. Are you kidding shitting me? First, he pretends to be Cozy Glow, then he acts like he's Sniper Wolf, then Diamond TR is Furly, and now he's trying to channel Sonic.exe with that ridiculous line. It's infuriating. Enough is enough. This content borrowing of identities and Caffrey's is beyond for rating. I can't believe this shit. It's difficult to comprehend how it reached this point. This is exactly why fandoms struggle to appreciate anything beautiful. This person has turned their life into an ending cycle of pain, which is truly heartbreaking. Brittany Yarko doesn't deserve the flood of hater name in him. And once again, Twitter, you let us down as a platform for sharing. Carlo show and carry the blame. It lies with those awful, mindless videos produced by Content Farms. That's my take on whole Sprunky situation. Nye and Co, if you happen to see this, I sincerely hope you find peace. We're all here for you, so please disregard the negativity and the joyless critics on Twitter. You deserve so much better than this. Until next time, everyone, farewell.